shaking leg survived. He lived 68 years later. Two teenagers gonna beat him and cause him to die. What time is it? It's Hallelujah. All right. Jesus. But you know, those places, Nevada, that's Washington. Some people think, well, uh, that's not in my area. Well, a 36 year old man just yesterday. Hallelujah. He had been charged with sexually abusing a 10 year old girl. And he was arrested Friday in East Harris County. But you know, the real reason they arrested him because once this little girl came forth, other victims came forth. Yeah. So he didn't do it to just her. He did it to others. And because they came forth, they had to arrest him. Yeah. That's right here in Harris County. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. All you have to do is turn on the news. Yeah. Turn on the internet. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Some of us need to just look right in our house. Yeah. And we'll know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a familiar scripture, but we need to talk about it, amen. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. And I know you know it by heart, so if you don't turn to it, that's okay. But we're going to talk about it from the New International Version. All right. He said, if. So I ain't let me know right now. It's contingent upon what I do. Before I read any further, just because it says if, that let me know it's all about me. It's my decision. He said, if my people who are called by my name, you have to know who you are called by. Yes. You have to know your name. Amen. Glory to God. The woman of God asked me what was my name, and I said that my name was Christina Lockett. And then I said, well, listen, because I never changed it after my divorce, but guess what? Whether it's Wilson or not, I know who I am. Thank you. 